This is Pontifex, a cephalophore. And I'm coming to you with a very difficult and emotional subject. <coughs> this has produced immense stress, drama, and pain for all of us. And that's the motherfucking buffalo. No, not right now, this is about the buffalo. Now, this buffalo, the first thing I notice is he has, oh God, he's taking a shit. Dude, I got it. Dude, the buffalo's taking it. Oh, it's spraying, that's weird. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this made it all worthwhile. Everything I've been saying previously, had a sense of hopelessness about it. But that gave me hope because I persevered and so did that buffalo. Like, we took a million steps to get to this point. And I was just thinking, I was reflecting on the nature of buffalo. And I wondered why the buffalo don't break free and roam as they were prone to do. Because clearly a buffalo could break this barrier. I could break it if you gave me long enough, not even climbing it. The buffalo are like at least like twice as strong as I am. <laughs> and it just made me wonder, the buffalo could be anywhere in the world. Why are they behind that fence? They could get to Canada, or Mexico, or Honduras, or Guatemala, or it probably, there you're getting probably hot for buffalo. They're pretty, they're pretty furry. So I think that would be, I think if you get to like Nicaragua, at least the buffalo wouldn't like it. But still, the United States, like even this, like buffalo live on like the plains. These aren't plains. This is forest. I mean, they have a field, but it's still a forest. This is not the buffalo's home. This is not where the buffalo roam. And they could break free and yet do not. And I thought that the reason that they haven't broken free is because the true prison is not this flimsy fence. It's within their mind. It's hopelessness. It's despair. Because they know that this is no longer a world where the buffalo may roam free. For thousands of years, man had an intrinsic and understanding relationship with the buffalo. The buffalo roamed, and man used every part of the buffalo, but it's been corrupted. It's been ruined. Like, I'll never use every part of that buffalo. And the buffalo will never roam. But see, witnessing what I just witnessed, which was the buffalo taking a shit, it gave me hope. And maybe, after everything, there is a place for the buffalo. Besides here. And maybe we can regain what has been lost. And maybe I will use every part of that buffalo. Or maybe it just needed a porta potty. But buffalo shouldn't have to use toilets, dude. This is Pontifex, a cephalophore, with a message of hope, light, and understanding for all who should see it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening.